Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope you are doing well. So with me on stage, here's Margot Wolny. And Peter Music. And we would like to really welcome you to the first UI5Con at SAP. Woo. We have a full agenda, so let's start and welcome on stage. Welcome on stage, the Vice President of UI5, Frederik Berg. And Chief Product Owner, Stefan Berg. Okay, enjoy. All right. Um, good morning, everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to UI5 Con at SAP 2017. Uh, you can't believe how happy we are that this day has finally arrived. It was uh, quite a challenge to get here. This is the biggest event we've ever hosted like this. So uh, it's a great honor and, uh, and a great experience for us to um, have you here and to welcome you to a beautiful St. Leon Road. Welcome, everybody. So. I'd like to thank, um, um, in particular, a couple of people before we get started with the rest. As I said initially, this was um, a huge undertaking for us. So I think it's, uh, it's fair to say, first things first, right? We have um, had a great uh, team that worked on the organization of this event. Um, so they worked tirelessly over the past uh, weeks and months, ever since you first heard about this, uh, and well before this, we had a lot of people um, meeting uh, regularly to, to set this up and to make this possible. So I think it's fair to say that for the Orga team and everybody involved in the event today, let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Of course, the event would not be complete without all of you, and in particular, the 65 speakers we have here today that are um, willing and ready to share the know-how uh, and some of the um, uh, fun they have with UL5 today at this conference as well. So um, really from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much that you take the time today to come out here, uh, spend the day with us, um, and to all the speakers, uh, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, this is really a great experience for all of us. Thank you. So, I thought a little bit about you know, what I would say. I have a couple of minutes today, so during the last couple of days, you kind of felt the tension rising towards this event, so people were getting excited and nervous, and there were people on Twitter uh, um, getting ready and packing their bags, so this, this sort of uh, raised that spirit. And now, yesterday evening, we came here to have a look at the venue, and, and this is really when I think some people um, and there were tweets about this too, they got goosebumps, right? Because this is a huge uh, success for us. To have an event just around UI5 uh, with this size is really something that uh, several years ago probably would not have been uh, imaginable. So um, this really marks uh, one of the, the most important events, let's say, in the life of UI5 so far. And uh, for this, we're really, truly grateful to have you as a, a community. and. Um, uh, to be here today to, uh, to celebrate the success as well. And I was thinking, you know, if you look into this room, uh, you sort of see, if you look into the faces of the people here, you see sort of the whole history of UI5. You see the past, the present, and we'll also discuss the, the future <laughs> of UI5. I'll explain how I mean that, though. <laughs> so I'm not sure if all of you know this, but um, UI5 wasn't started as UI5, it was started as a, as a small project, really, um, triggered by SAP, and uh, this was already roughly nine years ago. Uh, initially, it was called Project Phoenix. That's why you still see the bird, let's see, in the logo. Um, and Project Phoenix was really started in a single room in Waldorf by just a handful of engineers who were really into this technology. And the task they were given was to come up with the best UI technology that they could create at the time, right? So, for them, uh, it was a, a huge challenge, and nobody knew at the time how successful it could be, obviously, because you had no customers, you had no stakeholders, you had to start somewhere and start building something new. Right? So a startup atmosphere, and the people, uh, I think, in this team, they, uh, they cherish certain, certain things, let's say, or certain concepts, and one of them definitely was the love for open standards and open source. So at the time, it was HTML5 and CSS3, 
and um, the usage of open source technology. Yeah? So this is something that has always been sort of part of the DNA of the initial uh, founders of UF5, let's say, and that has, um, has, kept, um, has kept up, let's say, in, in the team, um, which obviously has, has grown quite a bit. So because the spirit was part of the original team, it was, let's say, the second big landmark uh, to uh, be in a position a couple of years ago to really take UR5 open source. So open UR5 was pushed by the community, and I'm not looking at someone in particular, but there were people, there were people that actively demanded this. Yeah. So this is important. I mean, this is why it's important to have you as a sounding board and as feedback from the outside. You obviously asked us to open source um, the product. Um, and uh, it took us a little bit to get um, everything sorted out, but now it's out there. And um, if you look at the success, um, I checked it yesterday evening, we're getting close to 29,000 commits uh, in a really active uh, um, uh, repository. So this is, in terms of SAP open source, one of the most, I would say, most successful projects that, that is around. So uh, this is really definitely something we're really proud of. Uh, and it has to do a lot with, uh, let's say, your influence in this. So um, that's great to have you, and thanks very much for this. So if we look at um, today's event, um, as I said, this is uh, just amazing. I mean, we have 400 participants. This event was sold out in, I think, roughly a week or so. Um, and so we really feel like we've achieved quite a bit over the past years. Um, if you look at UR5 technology these days, it's really a key pillar in the UI strategy of SAP. So it's become something that uh, is sort of the face of almost um, all new products. It's uh, available ubiquitously everywhere at SAP. People use it for all sorts of projects, but not just within SAP, obviously, also um, outside. And we've seen this every time we go to CoJams or we go to uh, UR5 cons. You see how that is sort of uh, shown uh, in the community. Um, this event itself was not invented by us, so this is an idea out of the community born, I think, in a Slack channel or so as an idea, and then already was uh, held, I think, three times. And so for us, it was important to say, like, we would, we would like to give back to the community, okay? So we decided to host an event, still have the original community spirit, and um, this is how the idea, let's say, was born to have this um, Open UI5 or UI5Con um, at SAP. So as I said, we are 400 people, and the interesting thing is that we're 100 SAP employees today, basically the ones that actually create UI5, and we have 300 uh, guests and, and fans and enthusiasts of UI5, and so this is really the first time we get so many people together, in particular to talk about um, our technology, which is really exciting, and I hope that you will find out as well that after, at the end of this day, you have uh, learned quite a bit, and this exchange um, was sort of fruitful for you and us as well, because this is exactly uh, what makes this uh, a successful product. So I said, we'll look at the present and also the future, and I'm not just looking at a lot of brand new colleagues that are joining the teams um, um, uh, yeah, every year, let's say. Um, UI5, um, as I said, has, has grown to um, become quite a large department, let's say, at SAP. We have roughly 150 core developers working directly for the framework and, and many more. And so it's reached a sort of state where we, you could say that it's, it's pretty big, it's rather mature, it has a lot of functionality. So at a certain point in time, uh, when we read uh, your blog post, when we read uh, tweets that are sent out by the community, uh, there's a notion that some of you also would like us to move forward, to move into the future, to raise the bar a little bit more, and to uh, renovate, to, to innovate a little bit within UI5. Right, so looking at the future, um, if I had one word to summarize uh, 2017, it would definitely be um, evolution, right? So, and we'll, we'll hear this term a little bit later um, quite often. So it's, it's sort of a key concept for us, and uh, we'll see what this means. So we're trying to embrace uh, new technologies uh, which have emerged over the past years, and we'll try to incorporate them into our frameworks, and Peter Musisch will have um, a talk afterwards to, to explain some of the details, technically, what that really means. So this is the first time I think we share it in such a, a large round, and we're really excited to hear your, your feedback on this. Now, when you do such a undertaking of uh, renovation or evolution of a product, um, 
it's usually a good idea to also, let's say, show this to the outside in, in one way or another. Yeah, so the thing that represents us right now on the outside is probably you know, the logo of UI5. It's something that has been around ever since OpenUI5 um, was made available. And so we had some folks in, in our design departments in Sofia in Bulgaria take a look at the current logo and how we can maybe evolve that as well yeah, to sort of show that we're uh, innovating. So if you have a look at this, this is, um, let's say, a collection of early drafts still featuring the Phoenix, let's say. Um, and these drafts were created by uh, Theodora, so she's bottom left on this slide. Um, and so they, they used these, these early prototypes, they played around with them, they shared them in the team. And uh, it is with a great honor, I guess I can say, um, that we can today, for the first time, reveal uh, the new logo. So I'm really excited about this. Um, and let's go ahead, we've prepared a small animation for you. I hope that this works. So this is the Phoenix as you know it, okay? And um, I'll show the final version. And if you like, please give the new logo a round of applause if you like it. And uh, <laughs> here we go. So this is uh, the brand new UI5 logo. So. I personally, I love it. It's, it's much more modern, it's, it's, it's streamlined, it really looks clean and crisp, and it, this should really symbolize this move into the future and the renovation of everything. So you've seen parts of it already on some of the uh, posters and uh, on the sticker on the back of your phones now, so we, we couldn't hide it everywhere, but we tried our best. Okay, so this is really, um, really great. Uh, you are the first ones to see this. And so, um, yeah, this, um, let's say, is uh, almost the end of what I wanted to say, but obviously there's usually one more thing, right? So we'll spend the full day um, talking about things we love. It's UF5, I guess, in particular. But I think I'm pretty sure many of you share a second love, and we do too. So, um, And this second love is the love for craft beer, right? So... <laughs> We decided to hand brew a custom UI5 beer, a New England IPA, which will be available tonight at 6.45 at the happy hour. So I'll uh, gladly invite all of you to come and join us for a crisp cold beer. Not yet, DJ. Um, <laughs> and to try this out with you. And of course, the recipe has already been open sourced. So. <laughs> Yeah, so this is basically the end. Um, I'd like to thank you once again for coming out. So this really means a lot that you spent the day with us. I hope uh, you enjoy, uh, learn a lot about it, and uh, we can now finally take off the, uh, the jackets, that's right, because we already have the new shirts. <laughs> All right, so then uh, let's raise the glasses tonight, um, have fun, and enjoy your 5Con. What is blue and red? Oh, it's two different versions. We have both. That's all. <laughs> it's, you can do team blue, team red, whatever you want to do. So, all right. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>